Hi, my name is Noah Simmons, and today I want to talk with you about a mushroom that's so profound it has been deemed the essence of immortality and the herb of spiritual potency. This mushroom has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for well over 6,000 years, and only recently has modern medicine been able to prove some of its legendary benefits. Today I want to talk to you about a very special mushroom, the reishi mushroom, how to find it, the benefits, and even how to make an extraction using vodka. Let's take a look. Behind me is a shelf of varnished hemlock reishi mushrooms that are not only special for their beauty, but also for their scientifically proven medicinal benefits. So what exactly are the medicinal benefits of reishi mushrooms? Well, there's a lot of them, so try to keep up. Reishi mushrooms have been found to combat the flu, asthma and bronchitis, diabetes, kidney disease, colon cancer, liver disease, HIV, chronic fatigue, insomnia, stomach ulcers, and even heart disease. But what exactly is it that makes it such an amazing medicine with such varied uses? Reishi mushrooms have a 30% concentration of beta-glucans, which is a polysaccharide with immunomodulating properties, and has been found to promote growth of probiotics in the gut and strengthen them. It was found to reduce obesity in mice, using a prebiotic effect to modulate the microbiota. A healthy microbiota is associated with a stronger immune system, higher energy levels, and even a better mood. In fact, Buddhist monks used to take reishi, as they said it gave them a feeling of well-being. The polysaccharides and triterpenoids in reishi are accredited with the mushroom's antioxidant effects. These are the two main components that we will be extracting today. These have been shown to increase the productivity and production of white blood cells, which is thought to be the main cause for many of these medicinal benefits. I've been following this set of mushrooms for well over three months from when they were just tiny little white nubs. And it's pretty amazing to see just how many have fruited on this one hemlock tree since I've been gone. They're called the varnished hemlock reishi mushrooms because they almost exclusively grow on hemlock trees. Now, the hemlock trees have been dying off in Virginia over the past 20 or 30 years due to the introduction of a pest called the woolly adelgid. It's very closely related to a common gardening pest, the aphid. Um, this pest kills off the hemlock trees and in turn produces these beautiful, beautiful medicinal mushrooms, Ganoderma tsuge, the varnished hemlock reishi mushroom. It's actually really fascinating how these mushrooms spread their spores. They actually enlist the help of the North American woodpecker. The woodpecker comes along and it pokes its beak into the bark of these hemlock trees, collecting the reishi mushroom spores onto the beak and carries it to other uh, hemlock trees. The first time that I ever found a varnished hemlock reishi mushroom, I actually saw a North American woodpecker fly right over top of my head. You can start finding reishi mushrooms in late May all the way through late fall. And because there's no poisonous lookalikes, it's a great beginner's mushroom. Go ahead and collect your reishi mushrooms by chopping them off at the stem. I took four reishi mushrooms in total. Now that I've collected the bag of mushrooms, we're going to head on home and make the extract. Now I don't know if I was just super tuned into them, but on my way home I actually saw not one, but two more trees that had reishi mushrooms growing on them. Now when you get home, go ahead and cut up your reishi mushroom. The older that it is, the tougher it will be to cut through, so just be careful. Go ahead and cut it lengthwise, then widthwise into smaller pieces until you have a nice big pile. Go ahead and throw your reishi mushrooms into a blender if you have one, and just blend the bejesus out of it. If you don't have a blender, just chop them up finer. Next, we're going to want to put our reishi into a jar. We used a pretty big jar for this, but you can use a smaller one. After that, you're going to want to add in your 80 to 100 proof vodka. If you run out of vodka, just visit your local liquor cabinet. You want the alcohol to almost fully cover the reishi. Go ahead and place your jar in a pantry and wait for one month. Be sure and shake up the jar as often as you can remember, daily if possible. Once your reishi is sat for one month, we're going to want to filter it out. I used a coffee filter, but you can use a cheesecloth or a sieve. It took about an hour for this concoction to fully filter. Now, this alcohol extraction is what's pulling out the triterpenoids. To pull out the polysaccharides, we're going to want to use a water extraction. Now, you can use the same reishi that you used for the alcohol extraction, but I was lucky enough to find another log with more reishi, so that's actually what I'll be using. For every two cups of reishi that you have, you want to use eight cups of water. I had three cups of reishi, so I used 12 cups of water. 
Now go ahead and bring your water to a boil and then take the temperature down to a simmer. Chuck in your reishi mushrooms and leave them for two hours while stirring occasionally. Now go ahead and strain off your water extract and then measure it out in a three to one ratio to the alcohol extract. Whereas I had 300 milliliters of the alcohol extract, I used 100 milliliters of the water extract. Now go ahead and combine the two together and you have officially made your first reishi mushroom extract, chock full of polysaccharides and triterpenes. Now get yourself a dropper full and enjoy. I know that this is hard to believe, but the reishi mushroom business is evaluated at $5 billion. And this little 13.5 ounce extraction is estimated to be worth between $150 and $200. If you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Last week I uploaded a video on how you can grow your own mushrooms at home, and the same concept can work for reishis too. In a couple of days I'll be uploading a video that's very special to me. It was a moment that I shared with my father and stepbrother that we'll never forget. Thank you for watching this video.